you've been focused on mentoring and retaining talent, uh, diverse talent, for a while. What are some examples of diversity across your own teams? As people move on to new roles, we look at how do we make sure we have a diverse group of candidates before we start the interview process so that we have the opportunity to look wide and to make sure that when we're interviewing candidates, we have a variety of backgrounds and experiences that are qualified for the role that we can then equally evaluate. When I was with General Electric, I did a global program that was oriented towards looking at girls between the ages of 10 and 12 and then creating summer camp opportunities in partnership with local universities to give them insights into what a career in STEM could be and could look like. At Liberty, I'm also involved with a program similar which is, again, looking at the similar age groups going into schools and mentoring, sponsoring projects, showing role models, essentially having a broad conversation. And the program at Liberty has been in place for five years. Um, I got involved when I joined Liberty about a year and a half ago. We've engaged with over 5,000 girls. And so all of this body of work is super important to continue because you have these girls that are interested in STEM, but then if there is no demonstration of the art of what's possible, some of those stereotypes come into the picture and they say, no, I don't wanna sit in a basement coding all day. And I mean, that's not the reality, but those are the stereotypes that are out there. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, some of the research that we've done you know, shows a big bifurcation in STEM, right? There's some areas, biology, chemistry, where we've seen a lot of increases in female graduates in that space, you know, pre-med, me medical school, for instance. Uh, and overall in college, 57% of college degrees now go to women. On the other hand, if you look at computer science more specifically, actually the CS grads who are women have declined, right? A I think two out of five uh, about 20 years ago were women, about 40%, and today that's more in the 20% range. Uh, and if you look at women of color getting computer science degrees, that's in the sort of lower single digits. So quite a room, quite a ways to improve there. It's not just about it's a good thing to do for the community, it's an important thing to do for the community, but there's also plenty of data out there that demonstrate that companies who do this seriously, who then have a management team that is diverse, make better, well-rounded decisions.